ever wondered how networks maintain continuous availability even when a router fails? The answer lies in first hop redundancy protocols. Welcome to this fascinating world where we explore the intricate mechanisms that ensure our digital lives run smoothly. Today we turn our spotlight to first hop redundancy protocols or as they are commonly known FHRPs. These are the unsung heroes that work behind the scenes to ensure that our network connections remain unbroken, even in the face of potential router failures. First hop redundancy protocols are a set of protocols used in computer networks to eliminate the single point of failure inherent in the static default routed environment. In simpler terms, they are the safety nets that ensure that even if one router fails, the network doesn't go down with it. Their primary purpose is to provide network availability and as such they play a pivotal role in maintaining network reliability think of a bustling city with its network of roads and highways if a major intersection were to close down it could cause massive traffic disruptions but if there are alternative routes planned and in place traffic can be diverted and the city continues to function smoothly that's exactly what FHRPs do for our networks they ensure that data packets find their way to their destination even when the usual path is blocked. FHRPs are the first line of defense in maintaining network availability. They allow for the seamless transition of network traffic from one router to another without the end users even realizing there was a disruption. This is achieved by creating a virtual router or a group of routers that function as a single entity. In the event of a router failure, the virtual router takes over ensuring continuous availability. In the world of networking, FHRPs are like the conductors of an orchestra. They ensure every instrument, or in this case, every router and data packet, plays its part at the right time, ensuring a harmonious flow of data across the network. Understanding FHRP is vital for any network engineer who aims to ensure network reliability and continuous availability. So. Let's dive deeper into the functions, types and concepts of FHRPs in our next scenes. Stay tuned! Now that we understand the purpose of FHRP, it's time to delve into its functions. First hop redundancy protocols, or FHRPs, play a vital role in ensuring network stability and reliability. They function as safety nets, providing a backup gateway for your network. But what does this mean exactly? Imagine you're on a ship and you have only one map to navigate. If that map gets lost or destroyed, you're in trouble. But if you have a second map as a backup, you're in a much safer position. This is essentially how FHRP works. It ensures that if your primary gateway or your first map fails, there is a backup ready to take over. Now, this automatic failover is one of the key functions of FHRP. When the primary gateway fails, FHRP kicks in immediately ensuring there's no interruption to the network. It's like a relay race where the baton is passed without missing a beat. This seamless transition is what makes FHRP so valuable to network engineers. But FHRP isn't just about providing a backup. It's also about optimizing network performance. This brings us to another critical function of FHRP, load balancing. In a network, traffic can sometimes be heavy, leading to congestion and slow performance but FHRP can distribute this traffic across multiple routers, balancing the load and ensuring smoother, faster network operations. It's like having multiple lanes on a highway to prevent traffic jams. So, to sum it up, FHRP provides a backup gateway for the network, allows for automatic failover if the primary gateway fails, and can balance network traffic across multiple routers. It's like a multitasking superhero maintaining network stability, ensuring seamless transitions, and optimizing performance. With these functions, FHRP ensures that the network remains operational even if a router goes offline. And that, in a nutshell, is the magic of first hop redundancy protocols. FHRP is not a single protocol, but a family of protocols. Let's get familiar with them. Our journey into the world of first hop redundancy protocols, or FHRPs, takes us through a realm of three main types. Each of these types serves a unique purpose, but they all share a common goal, to ensure that data traffic continues to flow even if the main router or gateway fails. The first type is the Hot Standby Router Protocol, or HSRP. 
Developed by Cisco, HSRP is a Cisco proprietary protocol that provides network redundancy for IP networks, ensuring that user traffic immediately and transparently recovers from first hop failures. It achieves this by creating a virtual router, the IP address of which is shared among a group of routers. In the event of the active router's failure, the standby router takes over, minimizing disruption. Next up is the Virtual Router Redundancy Protocol, or VRRP. This protocol is similar to HSRP in that it provides network redundancy, but with a slight twist. VRRP is a standard protocol, meaning it's not proprietary to any one company. It also allows for a multiple routers to function as a virtual router, sharing the IP address and thus providing redundancy. Another unique feature of VRRP is that it allows for the use of a master router, which handles all packets unless it fails. Last, but certainly not least, we have the Gateway Load Balancing Protocol, or GLBP. This protocol is also a Cisco proprietary protocol, but it offers something that neither HSRP nor VRRP do. Load Balancing. GLBP allows for multiple routers to share traffic from networks, distributing the load evenly and improving overall network efficiency. Each of these protocols plays a unique role in maintaining network availability and load balancing. They are the workhorses of the FHRP family, each contributing to the smooth and uninterrupted flow of data traffic. They may function differently, but their ultimate goal is the same, to keep your network up and running, no matter what. Remember, a network is only as strong as its weakest link, and with FHRP, that link is a lot stronger. Each of these protocols plays a unique role in maintaining network availability and load balancing. Understanding FHRP concepts and configurations is crucial for any network engineer. With that in mind, let's delve into some of the key concepts related to first hop redundancy protocols or FHRP. The first concept to grasp is the idea of active and standby routers. In an FHRP setup, one router is designated as the active router, while the others are considered standby routers. The active router is responsible for forwarding packets, while the standby routers remain in a state of readiness, prepared to take over should the active router fail. Another vital concept in FHRP is the use of a virtual IP address. This is an IP address that is shared by all routers in the FHRP group. From the perspective of the devices on the network, this virtual IP address is the default gateway. It ensures that even if the active router fails, the network traffic will not be disrupted as it will be redirected to the standby router. The last concept we'll delve into is the concept of priority. In an FHRP setup, each router is assigned a priority value the router with the highest priority becomes the active router. If two routers have the same priority, the one with the higher IP address becomes the active router. This hierarchical system ensures that there is always a clear path for data traffic, even in the event of a router failure. Now that we've tackled the concepts, let's briefly touch on how to configure FHRP in a network environment. The specific steps can vary depending on the type of FHRP being used, but generally speaking, you'll need to configure the virtual IP address, assign priority values to each router and designate which routers are active and which are standby. In conclusion, understanding these key concepts and configurations will equip you with the knowledge you need to effectively implement FHRP in a network. Remember, the goal of FHRP is to ensure continuous network availability and the right configuration is a huge part of making that happen. Mastering these concepts and configurations will help you effectively implement FHRP in your network. We've covered a lot of ground on first hop redundancy protocols or FHRP. Now let's summarize the key points. Firstly, we dived into the purpose of FHRP. It is designed to protect data flow from the disruption caused by the failure of the first hop in the path from the source to the destination. This is achieved by providing backup to the default gateway in a network. If the primary gateway fails, FHRP ensures that the network traffic is immediately redirected to the backup gateway, thus maintaining the network's continuity and availability. 
Next, we delved into the functions of FHRP. FHRP's primary function is to manage the redundancy of the first hop in IP networks. It does this by creating a group of routers that work together to present the illusion of a single virtual router to the hosts on the LAN. This group of routers shares an IP address and a MAC address, which are associated with the virtual router. If one router fails, the other routers in the group can take over the traffic in a seamless manner. We also explored the different types of FHRP, Hot Standby Router Protocol, HSRP, Virtual Router Redundancy Protocol, VRRP, and Gateway Load Balancing Protocol, GLBP. Each serves a unique function, with HSRP and VRRP providing a single active router, and GLBP allowing for multiple active routers for load balancing. Then, we dived into key FHRP concepts and configurations. We learned about active and standby routers, virtual IP addresses and preemption. We also learned how to configure FHRP on Cisco routers. Finally, we emphasized the importance of FHRP in maintaining network availability and load balancing. Without FHRP, network downtime could significantly impact business operations and productivity. With this knowledge, you're well on your way to mastering FHRP and ensuring network reliability.